Jack, help me figure out what to bring. Which one is sexier? Oh, Grace, I have no opinion on women's undergarments. I don't know what pokes through where. <laughs> and where are you going? I'm going to meet Tom. You know what? I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to close my eyes and do what I want. Oh, hey, hello. I'm George Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me you intend to know a married man in the biblical sense? And in the vagina? <laughs> you can't do that. Jack, we talked about this. You said it was, it was fun and sexy. Not for you. You are a woman of quality. That is such a, that's such a double standard, what you get to do it, but I don't. It's different for me because, because it, all right, listen, I am going to tell you something that does not leave this room, okay? I've never cheated. No. <laughs> yes. I, too, am a... I, too, am a woman of quality. Sure. I talk a big game, but deep down, I know it's wrong, and so do you. Let's face it, Grace, you and I, we've always been the moral center of our group. We have? Oh, come on. You know how when Will and Karen get into their ridiculous shenanigans, you and I always catch each other's eyes and shrug. We shrug? Yes, because we're moral. That is why we shrug. <laughs> and Grace, you were devastated when Leo cheated on you. Do you really want to do that to someone else? The more you know, and shooting star. <laughs> you know what, Jack? <laughs> You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Tell me how you feel about this business, then. I, I thought that I could be cavalier about love and sex, but that's not who I am, and I'm glad it's not. Thank you for being honest with me, Jack. Really. Well, if I'm really going to be honest, um, <laughs> there's something else I need to say to you. <laughs> I, um, I do not have a GRI. Glitter-related injury. <laughs> Something much more hideous. No! Honey, you should ask. During the fire, I singed it off. You mean singed. No, actually, I mean singed. As the set burned around me, I refused to stop singing my patriotic finale. You're a grand old fag. When I went to salute, I didn't realize my sleeve was on fire.